produce Kendall Stevens, and of course he comes by it honestly. His father, Everett Stevens, was one of the great stars for Purdue's teams in the 1980s with Coach Gene Cady. He's kind enough to spend a few minutes with us. And I mean, you have the same thing, right? You played in the Big Ten. You have a son in the Big Ten. Uh-huh. What is that like for you, Everett, to see your son wear the same uniform that you wore? Well, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a huge honor because, you know, uh, playing Division One, you know how hard it is to make it to that level. And then to be able to play at the same school in which, you know, I went to, I mean, it's pretty much like a dream come true. Everett, talk about it's First of all, it's good to be up here with a guy that remembers the vintage when the shorts were actually short, right? <laughs> so, and the hair was longer and the shorts were shorter. That's right. But for, for folks that may not have the frame of reference of Big Ten basketball, you were on some of the greatest teams in Purdue history. And talk about what it was like playing for Coach Katie uh, with guys like Troy Lewis, Todd Mitchell, Kip Jones, players like that. Well, I mean, um, it was one of those things where, you know, we came in with high expectations and and, you know, we went to the battles, you know, our freshman and sophomore years, and uh, we just matured, bought into the system pretty much. <laughs> bought, in, bought into the system um, of what Coach Katie was trying to, uh, to teach us. And, and knowing that we had, you know, some players that, uh, that had some talent, we, we felt we can do some special things. The only thing about it is that, you know, we came up short, you know, for Coach Katie. And, you know, the good thing about it is that we really tried to, to get him to, to that Final Four and win one because he was very worthy of it. Speaking of Coach Kate, I had the honor to play for him in the Pan Am games. And because of how I saw him, I tried to stay away because he just looked like this mean, ornery kind of coach. You didn't want to get mad. But when I got to know him, totally different. The big misconception is that he's this mean, hard guy, but he's not. Yes, and a lot of people have that perception. And, and again, it's the same thing. When they get a chance to meet him and talk with him, they realize that he's very personable. And, you know, for us, I mean, we've always felt like, you know, he just, he's just one of those hard-nosed, you know, blue-collar worker. And he expected that from us as players. And because we, because we had so much a high respect for him, he was just very good at just motivating us to go out there and play at the caliber that, you know, was, he, that he expects us to play at. Okay, be honest. More nervous when you play or watching your son? <laughs> good question. Uh, you gotta, yeah, you, cool. you know I asked you yeah. on that one. Um, watching my son. Yeah, and watching why? My why? Son. Um, mainly because uh, he's on a big stage. And, you know, it takes time to, to, um, to get yourself right mentally, physically. And he's in that process of doing that. And um, it, it can be, you know, you got your ups and downs. And right now, you know, he's, uh, he's going through a, a confidence period right now. But, but in the big picture, I just try to work with him and let him know if you're doing, it, doing the right things, you're working out, staying on top of your grades, sooner or later those dark clouds are going to pass by. This was the last place team in the Big Ten a year ago, Purdue, and now you see them with a double bye. What do you think has changed the most with this club? With this, this particular team? The Purdue team. team, yeah. They got a former player there. Painter's been there for a while. He's been coaching, uh, what, 10 years in the Big Ten, 10, 12 years? He knows what it's all about. He knows the toughness of it, you know, the day-to-day and, and how to get players prepared. I don't think that's changed because he's had a taste of what, you know, uh, under being coached underneath Coach Katie. It's just a matter of a process of this constantly keep staying with what you believe is right, getting the players to, uh, to buy in to what um, your philosophy is, and you'll be right back on track. Well, the bar was set very high by you <laughs> and Todd Mitchell, that whole crew back in the 1980s, great, great teams thank for you. Coach Katie. Everett Stevens, thank you very much for spending a few thank minutes with us. Me. Former Purdue star, Everett Stevens. <laughs>